Many leaders say that they want to get better at their communication as leaders. And if you're going to do that, then you need to first figure out which conversation are you having. I maintain that there are only three pure leadership conversations. There's the conversation that you have with your people around direction. That is what we're trying to achieve. There's conversations you have with your people around support. That is how to help them get this direction done. Uh, and then there's conversations that are around accountability. Now, accountability, really simple, uh, simply defined, is just noticing what, uh, the performance, that is, how close they are getting towards the goals that we establish, uh, and then talking about it. Now, uh, so back to improving your conversation skills as a leader. Which conversation are you having? Notice when you go to your people, what is the intent here? Am I trying to get them on the, on the page with me about what we're trying to accomplish? Am I trying to help them get where they're going? Or am I trying to reinforce the need to get there? Okay, now, a couple of tips for each conversation. Um, I just did a blog post about this first one. Uh, when you're talking about direction, distinguish between ends, that is the goals that you're trying to accomplish, and the means, or how we get there. I just wrote an uh, uh, in-depth uh, blog on my website, robertfbenson.us, that talks about this. Be really clear and specific and assertive when you're communicating the ends. This is what we need to achieve. Be inclusive, open, inviting. And team, I need us to figure out how we achieve those ends. So help me here. So if you'll do that, assertive here, inclusive here, you'll be much better at giving direction to your people in ways that they can accept and get behind. Uh, if you're having the support conversations, I want you to rely primarily on questions, open questions. What support, uh, what resources do you need? What issues do you, do you foresee? What help would get you there? Um, I'm trying to think of what other questions you could ask. But that's the basic idea. You want to engage their brain because they're likely going to be doing a lot of the work. You want to engage them and have them tell you what they need and be open and be ready to talk about it in, de in depth. That will improve these conversations as a leader. And then the accountability conversation. The key here is immediately that you must notice one thing that I'm not uh, writing down, but is a given. You can't have an accountability conversation if you don't keep track of how folks are doing. Okay, I don't mean looking over their shoulder, but you establish some form of measurement so you know where they are, some form of check-in. Some uh, It can be a conversation. But when you do that, whether it is positive, the person did what you want to do, they're achieving the direction that we set, uh, uh, you want to have a conversation there. One that's very, hey, I appreciate what you're doing. That is an accountability conversation that most people say they don't get. Second one, of course, is the one we think of, is the deltas, the things that uh, people need to change when they're not meeting the goals. We need to have those immediately. You do it respectfully in ways that simply look at the person and say, hey, we're not reaching where we need to be. What's up with that? Remind them of the direction. Get them turned around, but then invite them. Hey, what's the solution? How do we need to shift up what you're doing in order to get us back on track here? So, if you're going to be a, a leader, if you want to improve your communication skills, first figure out which conversation I'm having, and then employ these tips, and you'll be a better communicator.